Hello everybody, small engine students, welcome back for our next short video clip. This one will be on the Still Technician Training and Certification website. Starting at our main ARC campus page where we could log in to Canvas. To log in, I'm going to open up the small engine class. And what you'll notice, if you go under assignments, there are several things for you to do on the STILL certification website. And the reason we've partnered with STILL is not only are they a great manufacturer of outdoor power equipment, but they also still have a lot of two-stroke or two-cycle products that they made. Things like chainsaws and string trimmers, these things have to be very light, they have to be very powerful, and that's a good application for a two-stroke engine. So I've clicked one of the still assignments, and it does give me instructions on how to log in and how to get certified. But I wanted to give you a rundown on that procedure. So here's the link right here, again, stillvotech.com. You could just type that into a Google search, by the way. You're going to use your student number uh, and ARC Los Rios email address, that's going to be your username. Your password, by default, I have set all your passwords to be password1. That will allow you to log into the system. From here, what I've selected for you is the bronze training course. If I go to training, it will list all the bronze different levels, and there's two different training areas that we are going to use in this class. You can go through the bronze level technician training certification program and get bronze level certified in still outdoor power equipment. But for the purposes of our class, I've only assigned um, bronze levels six through nine in this section. So if I click bronze level six, brings up on the screen a, uh, a PowerPoint presentation, essentially. If I click into this training, it will allow me to cycle through it and read along on the screen. This is the same presentation that if you went to a hands-on still school, they would be using in their classes. In this particular lesson, two cycle and four cycle engines. It has even some stuff where they talk about uh, alternative engine cycles and how they're lubricated, where the placement of the valves would be, an L head or flat head engine versus an overhead valve engine. Runs us through the four stroke cycle and can take compression power exhaust. Even has some pretty sweet animations there to help show us how it all works. As I get through the presentation, you can see that this one, unlike the Briggs that doesn't really focus on two-stroke cycle engines, we have a lot of two-stroke cycle engine information here. I like to say it, the two-stroke cycle engine is the great uh, multitasker in the engine world and that he's doing multiple strokes at the same time. For instance, the two-stroke engine goes on compression and it goes on intake stroke at the same time as the pistons moving up, the air-fuel mixtures entering the bottom of the chamber. It then goes on power and exhaust stroke at the same time. And it does something else at the same time called transfer, as we transfer the air-fuel mixture from the bottom to the top. Well, I don't need to dwell on that about that here. Again, we have all that information available for us in this presentation. As I go through the presentation, it has alternative engine cycles and scavenge loss and four mix and stratified scavenging or stratified charge scavenging engines. Pretty darn neat information. Still definitely makes some um, high-tech small engines. Gives us a nice summary and at the end of this 
we have a iAcademy quiz which will lead us to a certification. So if I click on that iAcademy quiz, you can see that I have nine questions on this one to take. And if I click a question incorrectly, it does help me see where I've made my mistake. It brings me back to my uh, PowerPoint um, so that I can relearn that information and make sure I have it all dialed in and then I can answer the correct answer. So that one's incorrect. The power stroke, both valves are closed, piston is moving down. I'm going to pick that one. Oh, I got that correct this time. If I continue to get answers incorrect, like I got that one incorrect, and I make another incorrect answer, guess what? It's going to start me all over again. So it's pretty hard to not learn something and not get through these still certifications. Before we finish up this section though, I do need to take you back to the home screen. And that is, not all of our certifications are in the bronze area. Some of them are bonus certifications that we're going to do because it's going to add more to the class and give you more information that you should know for small engines. So from the home page, I'm going to click training again, and you can see that we have the bronze level coming up. But if I click more track info, you can see these other training courses coming up. From there, I'm going to click technician setup. And there's three classes in particular that I would like you to do. The oil and lubrication, the bearing life, and the short lesson on ethanol. I'm going to go ahead and open up that ethanol lesson and what you will see is just like before at the end of the lesson there's the I Academy quiz and certification and if I back up on this it tells me important information about the ethanol that they put in today's fuel. This is a very important thing because today's small engines they they don't really like to have a lot of ethanol in the fuel and most of the fuel that you're going to be purchasing in California is going to have 10% ethanol in it just like you can see on the slide there. So that about does it. Remember that we're going to be taking the bronze certifications and we'll also be taking some classes under technician setup. Pretty easy to go through the training, read each slide very carefully. We'll use some of those slides in our joint class sessions together of course. Um, but you shouldn't have any problems uh, getting still certified in the various areas that I've assigned for you in this class. What about other areas? Well, you can do some of those for extra credit, but that's for another lesson. Hope to see you in future class sessions, and good luck on your still Votex certifications.